Can you do it, Mom? Yep. Oops. Come here. This is what you want for breakfast? Yep. Peanut butter and jelly. Yep. For breakfast. Peanut jelly! Woo woo! <laughs> Good morning, you guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today is Wednesday. And me too. <laughs> and me too. Uh, it's just Isaiah and I here this morning. Amir and Amelia are away. Amelia is still on a little vacation with one of her friends. They should be coming back Emily. today, though. And Amir is out of town on work, but he also should be coming home today. So Isaiah and I have been in the house, just him and I, for... A couple days now it's been kind of nice to have one-on-one -on -one time with him yep. um, so today as usual we are getting up we got ready we're going to my mom's house I have to get coffee in my cup here and mom mom yesterday we go to Mima's yeah we go to Mima's every day <laughs> so um, we're gonna shower my mom today and put her meds down her feeding tube and just the mom, usual can at you her house can you do it? Okay, hang on one second, Zaya. Um, okay. And I have to get some groceries today because we literally have like no food in the house and I've been doing so good on my diet. Emmy, uh, I, I want to make sure coming that we mom. have everything stocked for me to make my salads. Mommy. I'm coming with mom because oh. I'm a helper. You are a good helper, Zay. Yep. And other than that, I just want to accomplish some laundry as every single vlog I mentioned that I need to accomplish laundry because it's never ending in this house. I'll show you guys the new addition to our laundry room. So this bad boy I got at Marshall's a couple days ago. I've been looking for a bigger piece to go in between the washer and dryer. This was the old one. A friend gave us, um, this just, I don't know, I think it fits my house and the space better. It's kind of like farmhouse, industrial looking to me. And um, so we've got this little basket. This was $5 at Target. I put my OxyClean container in here. I'm trying to grow a plant, so I put that guy here. These are dryer balls, which I don't use. They're only for decor purposes. <laughs> um, we've got our smell good pods. I always forget what they're called, but that's what I call them. Dryer sheets and then my bleach stuff down there. So I think it looks cute. I don't know, it just fits the space better. <gasps> Did you finish it already? You must have been hungry. <laughs> All right, I'll get you a water bottle. I'll bring to mama, <laughs> to mamas, to mimas. And uh, we gotta get going here before we get yelled at because we probably already are. Okay, last but not least, um, I'm gonna take my vitamins this morning. We got new vitamins. These are from Plexus. This these is are for us? Yep, Zaya really, really loves these X Factor kids ones. Yep, I am. <laughs> he would eat all of them. Wait, yeah, he would eat all of them like they were candy if he could. Mama? Nope, they're just for you. I've got my own here. This is the adult version X Factor Plus. This has got really and good stuff in it. And these for girls and girls. Okay, you eat yours. This is what these look like. They literally look like horse pills, the adult ones, but they're not bad. <laughs> Are they good? Then along with those plexus vitamins we also got the plexus drinks and i put them in here so there's the kids version on this side which isaiah is drinking in his water bottle right now yep. and then the adult slim plexus on the other side these yep. drinks taste amazing they taste just like if you added like and one of those oh my, oh boy. flavor squirts to your water or or anything like that they oh just my. taste amazing and they're really good for you so oh my take <laughs> good We've been trying to be healthier here, and that is helping. My little helper coming with me. We are laying in my mom's room right now. She is taking a shower. Um, and yeah, we're just chilling. I'm like in a funk today. I don't know what's going on with me. 
probably it's that I've had no break since Amir's been working all these crazy hours. It's like I'm a single married mom. Um, not to complain, I'm really like happy for him and us and everything. It's just once in a while you need a break and yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm happy that him and Amelia will be coming home later tonight. I also need to wash my hair, which is greasy right now. Um, and that's why it's back in a bun. <laughs> I've been doing really, really well on my weight loss journey so far. It's been about three weeks since I started and I've lost a total of eight pounds, which is good. Um, mostly just eating salads, eating slower and not snacking as much and um, and not purposely like on a low carb diet or anything, but I know that I love carbs. I love chips, I love anything like crunchy snack food type of stuff and I've been really pretty much cutting all of that out of my diet and so it's been helping I feel like overall my mood has been better with taking my supplements and just eating like more vegetables in my diet and things like that so hopefully I'll continue to lose like another eight pounds I'd love to be back to the weight that I was pre my two babies but um anything close to that I'd be happy with honestly it just started raining outside we're done at my mom's house we are gonna go for a walk with Isaiah and my mom but since it started raining we're just gonna go back home oops you okay Zay yep. <laughs> so my mom's doing pretty good I think that she has been very depressed lately though um she seems to be crying a lot, which is hard to see. Which makes me cry. And um, yeah, she just hasn't been like in the greatest headspace, I think. Um, she's getting weaker, which is hard. Um, yeah, I mean, it's already in the works that we are gonna need some extra help. I think that I'm doing as much as I possibly can. My sister. Also, you know, helps that we've got our aid Mary, but I think we're looking into more care for her. Eventually, she'll probably need 24-hour care, and we're just taking everything in stride, just like adding more help as we go. But it's just, you know, hard to see your mom suffering. <laughs> it's unexplainable. Um, and being a caregiver is definitely one of the hardest things I'll ever have to go through. So, um, it hasn't been a great week so far over there. Um, I don't know, just, I mean, anyone would be depressed in that situation, but it's hard to see her go through that. She's very strong and she tries her best every day and that's all we can do pretty much, but that's the status on my mom. Um, I appreciate all you guys who always reach out to me and ask how she's doing and, a lot of the times when people ask me how she's doing, honestly, I just say she's good because it would take me like 15 minutes to really go into everything with her. So I just say that like, she's doing good. <laughs> but um, ALS is progressive, so there's she's gonna continue to go you know, downhill, unfortunately. Okay, you want crackers? And I am almost 30 years old. I'll be 30 in August. And I've got two kids and it's hard to like, I know that my mom wants to go places and do stuff and be active with us. I'm as, I know, as a grandma. And she can, and it's hard for me because like I also can't put my entire life on hold at this stage in my life to care for her, so. Oh, yeah. oh did you get your fingers cut? Bad cupboard. That's why I've just kind of been like down lately. Um, hang on, let me open these crackers for Isaiah. Here you go, buddy. Just with Amir working so many hours and me having to do a lot of the housework and just everything and then taking care of my mom and also her, seeing her be like so depressed, it takes its toll on a person as well. So overall, I think we're, we're doing pretty good. We, like I said, we take everything piece by piece and just make changes and adjustments as we go with her, with her ALS, but um, it's, it's never easy. Cody Wody, what are you doing, Naughty? What are you doing, Naughty? 
So I've been slowly starting to buy Amelia some school items, even though we don't know the status of what school's gonna be. But I got her these clips that have little pencils on them. I plan on getting like these strip magnet tape things that you can put on here so I can stick these on the fridge and clip her paperwork or the kids' drawings on them. They're super cute. They came in a huge pack for a couple bucks. Um, I also got her these bookmarks and she's starting to read. It comes with a ton in them. I think these were also like $3. I got her these other clothes hanger things and it's got the days of the week and the months of the year on it. Super cute. And then I got her a composition notebook to practice her letters in. They have a ton of cute ones at Target right now. This one was my favorite for her. I got an avocado one for her or Isaiah really liked this one too. So he can just scribble in it. And then I got her this mermaid folder to put her stuff in. So no matter what, if I'm going to be doing homeschooling or sending her to school, whatever, you know, the plan is when we get there, we haven't decided yet, but she's going to need some things um, to start practicing her letters and numbers and everything. So she'll be going into first grade for those of you that don't know. Um, so that's so far the pile that has started. Um, this is mine. This avocado notebook is yours? Yep. Oh, what are you going to write in it? A. A? Yeah. <laughs> Just the letter A. And Y. And Y. Ooh, that's a good letter. And circle. And a circle. And an orange circle. And, <laughs> and an orange circle. Yeah. So with all these changes with school and not knowing if we're going to be homeschooling again or what the deal is with school and my mom continuing to progress, I have officially given my notice at work that I'm going to be only part time. So I'm going to continue to just be Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, I talked a while ago about how I'm on paid family leave right now and that's how I'm able to be home on Wednesdays and Fridays. I've always had Mondays off. So Wednesdays and Fridays I'm claiming paid family leave right now. But when that is over with, I think that I still need to be just two days a week. I cannot be full time at work right now with everything in my life going on. So that is a big change. Um, Amir is going to be helping me out and my mom's going to be helping me out. So financially we should still be okay. But um, I just think it's the best decision for everyone right now.
I swear it never ends, you guys. I just spent the last two hours cleaning my whole house and Isaiah got out the Play-Doh, of course, while I was busy cleaning. And it was all over this carpet, the couch, and this counter. Isaiah, why do we have chairs out? Can we just not? Ugh. All right, I am going to replenish my energy with a slim. Here we go. It tastes kind of like fruit punch. No. What are you doing? So this is what I do with my life when I'm stressed out. I start cleaning my house. My house wasn't even that dirty, honestly, but it just like helps me calm down and reevaluate my life <laughs> and makes me think that I have myself together if my house is clean, even though I don't. So um, I'm gonna sit and relax. I have to make a list, a grocery list, and Amelia should be home hopefully any minute. Okay, I made my grocery list, but I'm not gonna go with groceries until Friday because I just don't have energy today. <laughs> so, yes. oh, where did you just find that? Right here, another one. Another one? Now we have two. Yep. Yay! These are the rock candy pens from Target. Oh, and so. I and have one. And now Isaiah has one. I knew I bought one and I lost it. And he just stuck his hand down this couch and pulled it out. So yeah, it was on the heel. Did you put it down there? No. My no. It is still raining outside here. It's a perfect day to just stay inside and clean and watch movies. So Becca just texted me that Amelia is home. Yay, Amelia's home. So we're gonna go run up the street and grab her. We missed her so much. She was gone for five days and four nights, which is the longest she's ever been away. We did go up there for an overnight um, to go swimming and visit and everything, and it was so much fun. We definitely wanna do it again. And plus I wanted to see Amelia and see how she was doing, but I'm sure she had a blast and it'll be hard to pull her away from her friends, but we're gonna be happy to have her home. We got meals here. Say, can you sit down so we can see your sister? Hi, Meal. We missed you. Did you have fun on your trip? Now what do you guys wanna do? Go get some food? Are you hungry? McDonald's. All right, let's go get some food. All right, the kids have their Big Mac meals. Yep, I'm going to first grade soon. You're going to first grade soon? Mm -hmm. That's I right, Amelia. Amelia's just seeing all her and stuff I about have her. Big Mac. Yeah. And mom didn't get anything. I'm eating some leftover pineapple from Amelia's trip Becca gave me, and I'm going to make myself a salad. Mm. Don't, eat, don't even think about it. Here's a. Why is it one more tiny one? So I just got off the phone with Amir and he's not going to be home until 10.30 at night. And I miss him so much. So right now we're going over my mom's. So I need to give her a supplement. I am done for the day. I'm so exhausted today. I did a lot of cleaning and I'm just mentally checked out. And they got these. Here she is. My mom hasn't seen Amelia in a couple days. Don't worry, her hair is still the same as when she left because she hasn't brushed yet. Oh, really? <laughs> you took it out of a braid, but you didn't comb it or wash it. Uh, yesterday I got it combed. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <gasps> you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Cody, sit. Okay. Sit. Yeah, sit. 
<laughs> Cody loves walks, if you guys can't tell. Ah. Come on, get your helmet and your bike. I'll wait. He's going fast like that. Cody is so horrible at walks, you guys. We really need to train him better. Cody just made a doggy friend on our walk. He doesn't have many of them. I've been trying to get him out for walks like every day because he's so terrible at walks. But usually like halfway through, like right now, he's not really pulling that much. So he's a work in progress, but we're getting there. Cody is out of breath. He's probably gonna go right for that water bowl. Good boy, Cody. Okay, I am sweaty and hot, and I've done just about as much as I can possibly do for today, so I am going to grab my towel and take a nice, hot, relaxing shower. Let's get your blankies, eh? Bedtime, guys. Isaiah is asleep. Amelia is having a hard time falling asleep, but she's in her room. Amir got home about an hour ago, and we've just been standing in the kitchen talking because we haven't seen each other in a couple days, and he's been working so hard that it's nice just to have a conversation with your husband. So he's doing really well. He's about to take a shower, and I'm about to turn off the lights and watch the last few episodes I have left of Queen of the South, which is a really amazing show. If you guys are looking for something to watch and haven't seen it yet, I do recommend this one. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and make sure that you turn on your notification bell so you get notified every time I post a video. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Bye. Stumbling out of bed And I still got you in my head From all those pretty words you said It's like I'm wasted Every time I see your face I'm losing track of time and space I don't know where I am It's like I'm wasted And I won't waste it